morning. Happy Friday. We have reached Friday. And thank you for joining me for social media. In this class, all I had reviewed so far was our sponsor. Um, I shared the information with you. And then I wanted to take you into Miami Realtors.com so I can show you some of the social media solutions that are available for you guys. I had asked, are you guys brand new realtors? Are you returning to the industry or are you experienced agents? So if you'd like, you can put that information inside of the chat. That would be fantastic. So we can talk about different methods for us to build our business. Great. Jasmine is new, but I see you guys, Elizabeth. Sheila, Michelle, we are not a very large class. So if you'd like to unmute yourself and want to have conversation with me and make it an interactive class, we can. This is also a five part series. The social media series will take you through all of the steps of building out your business. So in social media, part one, we really focused on building your Facebook page, your business Facebook page, optimizing it for real estate. Part two, we really focused on creating your brand online so that when people look you up, hi, Sheila, you're new. Welcome to the industry. We really focused on building out your brand. So when somebody looks you up, they can see that you are immersed in the business. That's what we did in part two. You're welcome. In part three, we talked about content, right? Different ideas of content that you can post to your social media. In part four, we talked about um, video, right? Optimizing Instagram, how to use Instagram, how to post videos, how to create lives on Facebook. Video content was discussed in part four. In part five, in regarding building your audience, for those of you who have not taken the entire series, we want to go through some of the highlights of the series. And I want you to invite you to go ahead and take part in the series. We are going to launch it once again next month. The first thing I wanted to show you was that you have a little search bar that's available here. And you can type in any product or service that you're interested in. And the products and the services that I'm talking about are the ones that are available on your Miami Gateway. This is your Miami Gateway. This is where you have all of your products. This is where you have all of your services. Don't be scared to click on things. I know most of us will stay inside of Matrix, right? A lot of us will stay um, inside of maybe Form Simplicity, which is here. But if you're interested in any of these products or services, you can look them up the way that I'm showing you. So on MiamiRealtors.com, you can input that information. It's going to give you something called a product page. And then under the product page, it'll show you all of the classes assigned to that product. So you can click on the product page, give it a deep dive, and see if you're interested in learning more about this product. Now, I was talking to you about different marketing tools that you can use for social media. You do have Remind. This is a tool that you want to write down. This is excellent for farming and prospecting, which means finding new consumers. I love Remind for tracking the activity of my buyers. I also love it because you can share listings through a mobile application through text. And the more modern consumer loves that. Inside of Remind, um, I also like that you can create a CMA. It is a tax roll service. So behind Matrix, your next product and service that you want to have access to is Remind, right? It also has a social page that you can share with others. They can assign themselves to you and you're able to share content with them. So Remind, you want to write that down. You want to take that class. Wiki Realty is part of your um, products and services. They offer you unlimited content through the platform that you can repost. Agent 3000 is one of those classes that I always recommend for consumers, not consumers, for realtors to take. You can do Facebook marketing, listing collage posts. You can make memes. You can do landing pages. Um, you can do flyers, QR codes. Um, 
property websites. And it's very easy to use. Now you do have to take a class. That class is called Agent 3000 All-in-One Marketing. I would write that down. It's an easy product to use, but it does have a learning curve. So please take this. Savvy card is excellent if you're interested in a digital card. Also, you want to create your profile here because it ranks very high on Google. We're going to continue to scroll down. RPR, fantastic tour product if you've never used it before. We use this product to create beautiful reports for our customers. So if they're interested in the activity in an area, a specific neighborhood, the types of neighbors that they have, a school report, right? You can find that in RPR. Open houses are a tried and true way to find consumers. And when it comes to open houses, you can input them if you're a listing agent inside a matrix under add and edit. But if you are working with buyers or you don't have any customers yet, visit an open house. You can visit an open house. You can visit something called a broker open and you can tour that area. And that's a great way for you to discuss different properties that are available in your service area. You can go live on your phone. You can go live on Facebook and people will start to generate towards you because this is a great way to find property in that area through this realtor who does the legwork for me. Also, this is a great way for you to learn a neighborhood in an area. You also have the same property search for commercial listings. And I do love Builders Update, New Home, new home Source Professionals, and Neo. If you do not have property yet, you don't have a listing yet to advertise, visit one of these pre-construction properties. Builders love to work with realtors. Commissions tend to be high. And aside from that, they do the legwork for you. Most of the time, that builder will have already contracts drafted. They tour the property with you. They talk to your consumer about the finishing touches. Most of the time, they already have an in-house lender. So this is a great opportunity to visit these different properties, schedule a tour, and go ahead and ask them. I'd like to do a video just discussing... Um, the new property that's here so that I can showcase it and grow my audience on Instagram or on Facebook. These are different methods. You just have to be consistent. And I do invite you to go ahead and check out one of these pages. You don't want to tour that property and not have additional insight on it. You want to have some great information you can share with the public. You don't want to tour it like a consumer. Aside from that, you have a program called Elevate. So if you want to, hmm, if you want to take the approach to social media where you're not involved and you want automated, created content for you and information for you so that another, another company takes care of it, Elevate is that option. You have all of your suggested training on the right-hand side. And if you're the type of realtor that enjoys a kind of tutorial step-by-step -step that you can follow, you have LinkedIn for business, business on Instagram, and business for Facebook. You also have tutorials that have already been created for you. So if you want to see the entire series, we do have those available in English and in Spanish. As I scroll down, I want to discuss eProperty Watch. This is a great way to remind your sphere of influence that you are a consumer, that you are a realtor. This is also excellent for anybody who's a homeowner. So if you know anyone who's a homeowner that wants to receive detailed information about their property, which most people do because it's going to be in a lot of cases, the biggest financial decisions a family makes, they want to know if their equity went up, if that price point of their house went up. And you as the realtor can offer them that service. So building your audience is a number of things. It's requesting follows on social media. It's sending out emails. It's sending out texts. It's announcing to others that you're a realtor if you have not done that please do that. It is prospecting for business. And this should be an activity that you are doing always. You can be a part-time agent and still full-time prospect. 
Amarca is another um, marketing platform. And as you continue to scroll down, we have social media video tips that you can um, access, like how to post and schedule property, um, how to access your IG stories and more. I'm going to keep scrolling down. We have linked for you the best social media news and blogs that we can find that are real estate related. They are constantly being updated to offer you the newest information. And then as I continue to scroll down, you also have a social media for realtor series tips and videos that you can access here. Scrolling down, you do have information to create social engagement. You have PDFs that you can access. So I'm going to download the first. And this is going to give you information that you can share with your consumer. Not only can you share it, but you can create maybe a video on it. If you are brand new and you're thinking, I don't find we have to make videos, but I don't know what to talk about. This could be what you talk about. You can get on a live and you can say the 10 benefits of home ownership. And you can go through these, right? You have the most difficult parts of purchasing a home. What buyers want most from real estate agents, right? So you have different options, different um scripts that you can use. I'm going to go ahead and share this with you. And then I'm going to finish towards the bottom. You have tools and applications. These are not affiliated with us, but you have access to um, accessing all of them. So I love Linktree. This is excellent for linking all of your different websites to your Instagram. I love Canva. It's fantastic for creating flyers and posts. Repost, I use quite a lot. This is in order for you to repost content that somebody else created so that you can stay consistent in your marketing. And then you also have Google Trends. This is one of my favorite things, and this is a great research tool. All right. So now that I've gone over the social media page, let's talk about some actionable steps that you can do regarding your social media. So the first thing I want you to do, if you did not join me on the second day of the social media series is create a social media audit for yourself. Go ahead and input your first name, your last name, and press enter. Go ahead and open up an additional tab inside of your Google. And let's go ahead and do this and see where are you populating. How are you doing, Elizabeth, Jasmine, Michelle, Sheila? You guys going to open up the Google? Where are you, where are you ranking? What websites are populating? I'm going to give you guys a moment so you can check. Okay, so hopefully you guys were able to open up Google and be able to see where you're ranking. If you are not ranking, then that means you want to build out some of those pages. And I'm going to give you a list of pages that you need to build out and have your profile on so that when other people look you up, you are there. This is step one in social media. So, so far, I am listed on MiamiRealtors.com, LinkedIn. I have a website, right? 
We have Instagram, homes.com, Real Satisfied, Zillow, Twitter, VY Maps, which I'm unfamiliar with, Facebook. And if I go, most people don't go into page two. We have images that are available, Proxio Showcase. I'm linked in somebody else's Facebook, ResearchGate, Savvy Card, right? And much more. So you want to take the time to be able to pull this information and create your own pages. Where can you find these pages that you need to create? Inside of your Miami Gateway, there's a few that I want to point out. The first one is located towards the bottom. This is called Homes Connect. You want to give this a quick click and you want to create your profile on there. The other one that I want you to create your profile on is going to be realtor.com. Where's realtor.com? Let's go ahead and take a quick look here. Here's realtor.com. These are two that you would want to create that profile inside of. Now, of course, you want to create in your big business. You want to do the big social media ones, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn. Take a Saturday, build out your pages. Now, when you're inside of Facebook, you also want to create some research so that you can build out your brands. So I'm going to top inside of my Facebook page. From here, you can access your Facebook. If you have never created a Facebook page, you see this group of small dots. This is a menu that you can click on and you can begin building out that page by tapping on page. This will begin to create that business page that you need, okay? your page information, top the first section. You wanna input your first name, your last name and the word realtor. Now, moving away from that, I'm going to click onto my page and we want to talk about that meta business suite. When you click on the meta business suite, you have a few options here. You're able to manage your Facebook page and your Instagram page. You can create stories, create posts and create ads from here. You also can set up goals for you in order for you to grow your audience. So tapping on see progress will give you that information. From here, Facebook does a great job of helping you um, get started by going step by step with you. You can either decide to show this later or tap on getting started. Now, when it comes to your goals, your audience is one of those goals and it will track your um, Facebook, right? So I have achieved my goal. I've have three, right? Um, three likes and the goal was one. I did have a small goal and it also shows you your activity up at the top. So I'm going to scroll down regarding audience. It's going to show you your current audience. This is going to give you the number of your Facebook likes. Your Instagram followers will also be here broken down by gender. If you tap on potential audience, this is going to allow you to view your business results. So tapping on next, it's going to give you information about the content that you've posted and how people are engaging with it. Tapping on next. Again, this is that audience that we're previewing. So it says that my estimated audience size is this here. Let me exit out. And it shows that people on Facebook and Instagram with an additional two other filters have been selected. In this space, Facebook is prompting you to create an ad. And I'm not saying that creating ads are bad, especially when you're new. But before you start creating ads, which is probably the fastest way to engage with your public, is you need to have that base. You need to have posts that are available on your pages, information, and video. Why? Because when they see you, you want to have a presence, a real estate presence, a professional presence that people can be drawn to. So it doesn't matter if you have a whole bunch of ads, if you don't have great content for them to fall back on, they're not going to stay. So scrolling down, it is going to show me the age and the gender 
of my audience or potential audience in specific cities as well. So of course you can always customize this audience. We can see that primarily most will be from the United States and we can see the top pages in different categories. So if you're interested in looking at this information, this will give you insight. So we have retail companies, media and news, um, retail companies, public figures, news and media, um, political candidates, and musicians and bands. Well, wow, was not expecting to see Eminem here. He's come up. Okay, so um, for example, let's say I'm interested in selecting uh, news and media. The biggest or most popular uh, site is going to be Delish you have the opportunity to click on here and see what they're doing. It doesn't mean that you have to um, copy everything, but if there's things that you see on the page that could be working for them, then this is a great way that you can get some ideas. We see that we have a very clean title. They have created for themselves a username. Let me scroll down. You have a button that they've created how many people are following them, their site is listed, and they have consistent posts about food. Everybody loves food, but they've also incorporated different products that people can use to create um, these recipes or swap out plastic, right? So some of these are ideas of articles that they're posting, they're consistently posting. Again, these are different ways to get ideas about your business. Now I'm going to move back up. I'm going to tap on Instagram and it's going to give you that information regarding how you are growing your business. Now, the best way to grow your business is going to be to ask um, to follow other people to engage in their own marketing, right? So if you engage with others, the system will automatically see that you're engaging with them. So their content will be more prominent on your page. But also, if you've engaged with this person, then more likely that person is going to get your content as well. And they're more likely to engage with you because you engaged with them. So you have kind of this algorithm party that's going on. Now here you can see what's going on in Facebook and you can see which pages are popular on Facebook. But if you want to do some research about different posts in your own industry, there is another, another way. So tapping on overview, we're looking at the goals that we've set, our results and what I've posted. Now I can see based on what I've posted, how much reach I can get. So I'm gonna tap on see content report. And I can see what's actually working, what's not working. And based on what I'm posting, maybe that's going to give me insight of what I should continue to post, right? And as I scroll down, some things don't get engagement at all, but some things get a lot more. Right. So here I had created a video that got a lot of traction. So if this got a lot of traction, I want to do this again. And I want to show you how I did that. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on my home page. And how I did that was I went inside of Matrix. So I'm going to jump into my products and my services. I tapped on Matrix. And I selected one of my lists, my OK to advertise list. If you have not learned about OK to advertise, this is a way that you can find properties that both the listing agent and the broker have agreed that you can market their listing without having to ask for permission because they've already clicked on it and agreed that it was okay to advertise. Now, if you're curious on how to create that list, you would click under search, you would scroll down and select cross property. I like cross property because it's combining all property types. I'm then going to focus on active properties and I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to tap on add or remove on the bottom of my screen and I'm going to look for okay. 
to advertise. I'm going to click on OK to advertise, and then I'm going to tap on Add. When OK to advertise is part of my selected fields, I can then click on the word Back. No need to save anything. Then I'm going to scroll down, and I'm going to select Yes, Attribution Not Required. This means I can advertise the property, and I don't have to give an attribution. What is an attribution? It is credit to the broker. Normally, if you look at it in a post, that phrase would be courtesy of XYC brokerage. That's an attribution. So for example, I'm going to tap on yes, attribution not required. I'm going to tap on results. From here, I also have the opportunity to tap on save and tap on new save search. I can give it a name, OK to advertise and then tap on enable as a favorite search. This is how you create one of these searches. There's very little criteria that I inputted. Let me tap on cancel and I'll tell you why. When I go back into my favorite searches, a widget will appear with the list of favorite searches. I have okay to advertise South Florida. This is all of the property that's okay to advertise in South Florida. I can always go back into my criteria and I can adjust it a little bit. So for example, I have 298 matches for property that is attribution not required, attribution required. I'm gonna take off this one. There's 220 matches. And from here, the property types is single family condos and residential income. I'm going to focus on that single family. I have 71 and then I'm gonna tap on results. From here, there's a few things I can do. I can sort it by subdivision by clicking on it. It's going to put it in order. Or I can focus on maybe listing price. Let me tap again. These are the most expensive properties. And let's say I want to advertise one of these. So I could advertise luxury property, but you have to think, are you a luxury realtor? Is that your sphere? You want to advertise your brand, whatever that brand may be. So I'm not saying not to work with somebody interested in purchasing a luxury property. I'm just saying be specific in your advertising. Nope. Nope. Mm. All right, I guess this one's it, guys. Let me go back to, to we'll go a little higher in price point. If you don't want these lines, never post or take a picture uh, vertically. Take them horizontally. Vertical is for people. This has one picture. All right, thank you, Realtor. Um, nice and professional images. Was it this one? Oh, I love this one. I would live here. This is adorable. All right, this is the property I'm gonna pick. So from here, I can select it. This is, let me scroll down, verify, and it, yes, attribution not required. It's open for me to um, go ahead and advertise it. So I can go ahead and take this, right click, save image as, tap on save. Perfect, it's beautiful. And where is it located? Hazelton Park, recently remodeled. Excellent, I have all of these great remarks that I can use. And then I'm gonna jump back into my Meta Business Suite. Now, what's the difference? I didn't just pick whatever property I wanted. I made sure to pick an okay to advertise property that no attribution was required so that I don't get in trouble. 
you do not want to advertise property that says that you cannot, you will get in trouble. So we're going to not create the post here. For whatever reason, you can't create a video here. You have to scroll all the way to the bottom in order for you to create that post. And here's where you can create it. So tapping on create post. From here, I'm going to continue to scroll down and nice and hidden on the bottom is create video. So I'm gonna tap on create video and you have two ways that you can create this video. You can do a spotlight of an image. So you can tap on here. And the other option is you can showcase a square image. So the only movement here is the call to action and your logo. The second one or the first one gives you a little bit more movement. This is the one I like. So I'm going to upload this image. Where's that pretty house I found? I'm going to All right, so that image is here. Save as. It's in my desktop, but it's saved as a different type. So I'm going to change that to JPEG and save it. Now I'm going to upload the image. Now that it's uploaded, I'm going to tap on the button that says next. From here, we're going to now tap on our logo on the bottom, tap on logo, and we're going to upload the second image. This is going to be the logo of your company. Tap on open, tap on number three so that it knows that that's where the logo is going. And now here we have the header. So here you can choose a background color or you can stay with the same kind of um, brown gray and then you input your text overlay. So here I wanna keep it short because of how it looks and I think the best that I can input here is going to be maybe the name of the community. So when you scroll down, you can always find the subdivision name here. You go back into your meta business, put in your text. And I don't like it. I'm just going to keep it with Hazelton Park. Then I'm going to preview it. So I'm going to scroll back and tap on the play button. And it's beautiful. So this is a great way that you can tap on finish video. It's uploading my information. I can choose to also input it in Instagram. And then I'm going to write a different message that you would probably write, but learn to advertise.
Okay, so I would write this because of my audience, but you would write a combination of the information of this property, how they can contact you, or you don't even have to talk about this property. Maybe you're interested in discussing that specific neighborhood. And that's why it's so important for you to be able to be informed about your neighborhood. Scrolling down. Okay, so from here, I can add a location if I want to. But I also want to show you that you have the ability to publish now or not. Okay, you can click on optional times and this will allow you to click here and decide when you'd like to post this. It doesn't have to be today. You can go into next month and then following month after that. So this is a great way for you to be able to post in advance. I love this post. I want to share it now but you also have optimal time. So if I wanted to share it today, Facebook is telling me the best time that I can share it based on my audience is at 3 p.m. tomorrow at 7 or Monday at 9 p.m. So I can choose. And then for Instagram, my audience is best suited for tomorrow at 1 p.m., Monday at 2 p.m. or Friday at 6 a.m., right? So you can use the algorithm to help you tap on save and then publish your post. Then you know that that's on its way to being published and you've done it in a few easy steps. And once you can come in here and publish in advance, creating content will become easier for you. Another tip on creating content, I'm gonna tap on our homepage and I wanna talk to you about some of the options you have here. You have a to-do list that will allow you to be able to determine what it is that you'd like to do. On the right-hand side, you have your trends and you have your audience. So I have not been posting as much and you can see that my insights are suffering. It is looking at the last 28 days. Um, and I am down 30% on Facebook and I'm down 44% on Instagram. My audience on the other hand is stable, it's growing. I can only focus on only so much at once. So from here, we're able to see our recent posts, but I also wanna show you that you can see your stories and how they've performed. You also have your planner. So I can tap on see planner. This is gonna give me access to everything I've already plan on posting, right? So this is this week. Each week I have at least two posts. And how do I easily just find all of these articles on MiamiRealtors.com? So on MiamiRealtors.com, you can highlight this area here that's called news, right? Um, and you can go into trending news. And this is gonna give you all of the different articles that you can use. They're already created for you. This is a great way for you to do that. Just tap on here. That'll give you the different ways to share it. So you can either share it directly, which is fine. But for me, I like for you to highlight the bit.ly or the small link. I like for you to use the link because this will give you the ability to just pop it in wherever you'd like on your calendar. So it's hump day. I'm going to go ahead and create a post by tapping on create on the top right hand corner. And I'm going to paste in my text. The feed is going to populate. Hmm. Remove the ugly link because it already captured it. You can input input whatever you'd like, right? And then optimal times, decide when you'd like to post it. Tap on your calendar. I'm gonna post it on the third. Optimal times for me, let's see, are three o'clock. So I'm gonna go ahead and post this at three o'clock or 3.30 and I'm saving. 
Now, could you take a few moments once a week to post for oops, schedule post? Now, could you take a little while? Let me move away from today. Okay, so I've posted already for the first week of May. The only one I don't have is information for Thursday. But could I take a day, go into my articles that are being updated all the time, and simply share them? Right? Yes. I do have a quick question, Christine. Yeah. It is there a way that we could take, um, like replace the picture that was that auto populated there and just keep the link? Or is it like once you copy that link and paste it there, then auto um, is going to show that photo that it is going to show the photo, but you don't have to use that image. That image was posted for you so that you have it. But let's say you wanted to do something else. You can tap on create. And when you scroll down scrolling on both bars, you can add a photo. So if you add that photo, you can choose whatever photo you'd like. So yeah, I'm just going to add a picture of Miami. Um, let's say this is the photo that I wanted to add. It's here. And then my text, then I can paste it. And then you have your bit.ly with a different photo. Now, if you want them to access that article, that photo has not absorbed this link, for example. So you would have to prompt them. So um, whatever the topic was, you would prompt them to click on that link if they wanted to see it, but you have your own image that you can post on there. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, so as you can see, I have actually, you know what, now that you're saying that, um, Instagram doesn't take these links. So if you wanted, you could have that information available, the link available for Facebook. But when you're doing Instagram, right? You have whatever image you'd like, and you can input a little blurb about that story, and then go ahead and paste in that link. So you can do both of them at once. So when I was teaching you how to just copy paste all of these different articles, they work really well on Facebook, but on Instagram, they're not link based. So you would have to actually take that additional step of adding in that image or a video that you created and then inputting your verbiage here and then loading it. So that's a different way of doing that. Um, this is one of my favorite things that I started doing. Part of my job is to have a presence on Facebook, on LinkedIn, on Instagram. And once I discovered those articles and how easily I can post them onto my um my planner, I have been able to get a lot more traction on my business page on Facebook, which is really hard because Facebook doesn't give the same attention or algorithm that it does to your personal page. So of course, your personal page gets a lot of views compared to the business side, which I understood that they were going to update. But for the time being, I've learned that the more I post, the more views I get. Okay. Um, I'm going to go back to the home page here now that we talked about the planner and I want to show you something else. Let me scroll down. <clears throat> they do have a whole area regarding audience growth and basically how to grow your page is to invite your friends. So tapping on invite friends will give you a list to or an option to create a post to invite. And that's going to go from your business page to 
Oh, wait, no, you invite your friends to follow your business page um, from your personal account. So this is a great way to be able to do this without getting in trouble with Facebook. Create a post. And it is the same outline. You would just be asking or introducing yourself as a realtor here. And this will allow you to grow that page. Moving down, this is content inspiration. These are stories from businesses like our own. This is Instagram, uh, Facebook, and stories that will show you ideas of what other people are posting that are giving them some good numbers. So we can see some of those ideas. You have insight into what other people are posting, which wasn't there before, um, so that you can get inspired. And then as you scroll down, Facebook has also given you pages or possible posts that you can post onto your page that were already created for you that happen to be getting a lot of traction. So even very popular pages, a lot of traction is 14 interactions and four comments only because of how difficult it is to get views on business pages these days. But as you scroll through here, you also have ideas of what you can post. And if it's working for them, I know we love humor, um, but if it's working for them, then this is also an idea of what you can post. This is a really popular type of post, which is house hunting, the median price for a single family home and what you can get for that price point. Scrolling through here will give you some research that you can do. Um, and I think this is a really good exercise that you can do in order for you to see what's working, what's not working. Scrolling down, these are posts from similar businesses and interaction that they're getting so that you can get inspired with different ideas. And then down here is where you can post your, um, your information or your views. So on to our Facebook business page. Let me go back into that. Let's go to my page. Okay. So from here, these three dots will allow you to invite friends. So here you can invite your friends. I have invited all of mine, but you'll have a list of any friend who you have not invited as of yet that you can invite. When you select them, it'll automatically allow you to invite them, but you can click on the bottom where it says also invite them through Messenger. So they'll get two invites from you. Okay, so we can see if I tap on my invited, what happened? They liked it, they were invited, but nothing happened. Some people liked it, some people followed, etc. You can see what your audience did. On these three dots, you can also share your page. So tapping on share will allow you to create that post of your business page so that you can post it directly onto your personal page. Okay. Um, another thing I wanted to show you, if you wanted to do a deep dive into what people are doing in your specific area that's working, I would use this little tip. So inside of Matrix, I showed you that you can do OK to advertise. We also have these things called market reports, and you're able to see production reports based on how many listings are in an area. So agent market share report is a great way that you can start viewing this information. So my start date, I'm just going to do April 2021, the first, and then the end date will be the first. So I'm just going to compare a year. You can choose how you want them to be ranked by volume, which is price point of the home, by list side, sales side. So whether they're a listing agent or whether you want to be a listing agent or a buying agent. And then you can also choose based on sign. 
based on average price. So if you're interested in luxury, you would put the average price that you'd like. Median price grouped by however you'd like. So for me, I'm going to do total transactions. So as many transactions. And I can choose maybe the top 10 agents. And then if you want to focus on a specific property type, you can. If you want to focus on a specific board, I'm going to do, well, not, no, not here, not Palm Beach. I'm going to do um, Southeast Florida Regional, our side. And then I'm going to scroll down and you can choose the city that you focus on. So does anybody want to get brave and mention a city that they're interested in working or farming? Hollywood. Hollywood. Okay. So I'm going to scroll down. select Hollywood, and then generate that report. So from here, I can see the top agents in this area, and I don't mean to put anybody out there. I think it's great that they're on the top, but the idea is you can go ahead and look for this person, okay? And it's not to be a stalker, but it's to see what they're doing. What kind of marketing are they doing that you can replicate regarding your own business. So I looked up Alejandro Bruno and he has a page. He has reviews. He has his own website. He has a page that he's filled out with his company. He has videos on YouTube and you, he has a page on Zillow. So you can go through this information on homes.com, on LinkedIn, on HomeSnap. He has an Instagram that we can take a peek at. And get ideas, get inspired by what other people are doing. I see Remax right behind him. I like that idea. The selling machine. So we know what he does. He has 23 posts and he doesn't have that many followers, but he has that presence. And we can take a look at what he's doing and kind of emulate it. And you can do that for a few of the people that are in your area in order to help you find ideas to grow your business. But with that, guys, this is the end of today's class. If you want to take the series again, we're starting it all over on Monday of next week. I'd love to have you guys join me again um, where I'm going to deep dive into Facebook and optimizing that page. So my Facebook, for example, I created a button and I was also able to have people schedule an appointment with me to see a property. I'll show you how to find free images and learn about Facebook and optimizing it. So thank you for being with me this morning. Have a beautiful day. Thank, thank you, you so much. You too. You're welcome. Thanks. Bye.